Hello YouTube, this is Gene again with Geeky Asian Dad. Today we're back again with yogurt. That's right, yogurt. We love it, we make it, and we have another question today. Last time we knew that we had to heat it up if you want a thicker uh, type yogurt, or if you don't want to heat it up, you get something that more that you can drink. But our question today is how long do we need to incubate it or ferment it? So we kind of have an experiment of whether we should do it for two hours, which usually the internet says it's too little, four hours, which is kind of the minimum recommendation, and then eight to 12. I usually do it eight to 12 because I set it aside, come back after work, set it aside, do it in the morning. So today's experiment is how long do you need to cook, ferment, or inoculate your yogurt. Let's get started. Due to the magic of time lapse, you can see that I've heated up the milk to about 180. Then I've cooled it down to about 100 degrees. So you've seen I've and we're getting heated started. up the milk to about 180 to 190 for about five minutes. I've cooled it down to about 100 degrees. And now what I've done is I've set up three jars, one rubber band, will be two hours, two rubber bands will be four hours, and then three rubber bands will be eight or more, basically uh, when we come back. Right here is our yogurt, so I'm gonna mix it up to make sure every single one gets an equal amount. <laughs> What's impressive here is how quickly I did this, and more importantly, how I did not spill the milk, but quite impressive. It's almost all equal. That's about equal. Yep, 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 yep. So we're good. So now we'll close up the lids and um, we'll get started. So I have these lids here. Close them up. Close them up. Let me find that last lid. It's right here. They're nice and tight. Uh, as you know, you gotta shake them up. So they're completely mixed. This time, as you know, I'm not gonna add any sugar to it like I did last time. Okay, it's mixed up. So we're gonna add them right to the sous vide. Okay, so it's 110. It is exactly 10 o'clock. Our experiment has started. The first one will come out in two hours. Okay, it's uh, two hours. It's 12 o'clock. I can see this is very liquid tea. But we'll check it together. Yeah, this is still, this is still milk. There's really no yogurtness to it, but let's try it. It has a little bit of the tartness of the yogurt, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it in the fridge because as we've seen last time, things set up. Okay, so we are at two o'clock. We are four hours in, so this is the normal yogurt maker time. Oh, okay, so you can see it's definitely thicker, like it. I'm starting to get that uh, yogurtness. Still, it's a little bit on the soft side, but that's okay. As you know, we will always put it in the fridge Okay, this is the uh, last one. Eight hours, or the reality is uh, we were out, so it's a little bit longer. It's actually uh, more like 11. The test was two hours, four hours, or eight to 12 is the normal one that I usually do. So, let's see. Oh yeah, you can see the, once it passes eight, 
it's uh, much, much thicker. And it has that more of a tang to it. All right, everything has rested in the fridge overnight. This is the two hours. We will see how it looks. It's still liquidy. There's uh, very little, if not any, yogurt consistency. There it is. It runs out. All right, so now, let's look at the four hours. It has that yogurt look to it. It's that nice thick. Got a little whey and uh, I'll give it a try. It has a good yogurt uh, taste. It's not as thick. A little bit of tartness to it. And the last one, this one was 11 hours. What we're trying to do is just trying to see anything beyond 8. So you can see. This one is uh, significantly thicker and so you can see two hours, four hours and eight hours. So what does this kind of say? Uh, it's easy and it's probably easier just to forget it. Set it and forget it. Two hours definitely won't work. Four hours is probably the bare minimum and anything more than eight is good. So go to work, go to sleep, come back and you're good. This is Gene with Geeky Asian Dad. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.